Oh boy. This is the new 2022 Genesis GV7. Consider it the latest evidence that Genesis's star is rising in the luxury car universe. When I saw pictures of the GV70, I was dazzled. In person, I need a word stronger than dazzled. Let's go with enamored. The exterior design has all the elements you'd expect from a modern Genesis. A big diamond pattern grille, the twin bar head and taillight motif, plus a long nose and rear wheel drive proportions. But applying all of those traits to a more compact SUV canvas has yielded stellar results. I especially like the profile. It's muscular and distinct without being too busy. But can I show you my favorite detail? This little C pillar treatment right here. Do you guys remember the Grumman X-29 from the, the 80s? It was a forward swept wing airplane. That's what that looks like to me. Yes, I am an aviation nerd. Just to drive home how nice this thing looks, here's another 10 seconds to appreciate the GV70's exterior. All right, what about the interior? Well, there is a ton of character in here. I hope you guys like ovals because they figure prominently throughout. Okay, technically these are ellipses, not ovals, but you know what I mean. Genesis has also embraced color with their interiors of late, and the GV70 is no exception. Beige, black, blue, red. Oh, that's nice. Beyond how it looks, there is a tactile sumptuousness to the interior. When you touch around, your fingers are greeted with a feeling of quality. Yeah, even up here. Mm -hmm. Flinging some slight criticism at the GV70, I don't like the standard two-spoke steering wheel, but you know what? The Sport model has three spokes. That alone is motivation to go Sport, though the Sport's dark chrome trim, carbon fiber accents, and 21-inch wheels don't hurt. Steering wheels aside, I like the uncluttered button arrangement, but I'm not a huge fan of the roller-style volume control. Like in the GV80, the GV70's rotary gear selector is eye-catching. Just be sure not to confuse it with the adjacent rotating clickable controller used to manage the 14.5-inch infotainment screen. The short, wide screen layout is really clever because it puts more screen real estate up where your eye should be looking, which is near the road. Also, there's a city there. If you can recognize the city, you won't win a prize, but that'll be kind of cool. What city is that? The GV70 is a smaller SUV offering from Genesis. I am 5'10". Let's see how I fit in the front and back seats. Up front here, I mean, it, this is the easy one. Everybody fits fine up front. Uh, seat is in its lowest position. Plenty of head clearance here. Looks like I can get into a uh, comfortable position. It's a good driving position. Oh, and if I look over my right shoulder, uh, there's a pretty thick C pillar back there, but visibility isn't so bad. Oh, but here, can I sit behind my preferred front seat driving position? Yes, yes I can. The way the C-pillar comes down here, it does block some of my view out on the left side, but uh, yeah, I fit fine. Plenty of head clearance. In fact, I'll move over so you can get a better sense of how I fit. Again, my complete average frame, this is what it fits back here, not so bad. Yeah, yeah, I could definitely work with this. On a mechanical note, the GV70 is built atop the same rear-wheel drive architecture as the G70 sedan, though for America, all-wheel drive comes standard. Power comes from a base 2.5-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine or an optional 3.5-liter twin-turbocharged V6, each paired with an eight-speed automatic transmission. Heads up, for some reason Genesis was a little cagey on final power figures, but it's safe to assume that these numbers, cribbed from the GV80, are basically spot on. GV80 power in the lighter GV70 chassis sounds like a fine idea to me. For elevated agility on or potentially off-road, Genesis offers an electronic rear differential with torque vectoring abilities. Also, GV70s equipped with the 3.5-liter engine come with a camera-based adaptive suspension which reads the road ahead, adjusting the suspension in real time for improved ride and handling. Of course, the GV70 will include an expected array of driver assist tech like lane keeping assist, automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection, and a remote parking assist feature you might recognize by its other name, Hyundai Smart Park. Fancier renditions will offer indulgences like a Napa leather interior, active front seat bolsters, a panoramic roof, and a 360-degree camera system. 
One other cool feature is a new radar-based rear occupant alert system whose ultrasonic sensors can detect when a sleeping infant is breathing in the back seats. As a father, I think that's pretty cool. Of course, the big question you might have, how much does the GV70 cost? And I do not know the answer, though based on Genesis's other vehicles, the GV70 should match or undercut competitors like the BMW X3, Audi Q5, and Mercedes-Benz GLC. Around the $40,000 mark is a reasonable guess. It'll also be interesting to see how the GV70 compares with premium choices like the Acura RDX and Volvo XC60. I really liked driving the GV80 when I did, but the smaller GV70 lands more squarely in my emotional wheelhouse. I'm really excited to drive it, but I can't do that yet. It's going to arrive in dealerships sometime in 2021. They won't tell me exactly when, but when it arrives, you'll know. And you can pre-order it right now if you're interested, so it should be arriving soon. As soon as I can get into the uh, driver's seat, I will share my thoughts.